but these are also um, some students that move a lot, and I'm wondering if the address, their address. That's is exactly right. fine. That's probably why something that wasn't matching there. But you're right. It's going to pull in that most recent tax year data into the logic it knows to do that. So, any other thoughts or questions about this? Have you seen any challenges with your students? The biggest thing may be the matches, uh, the address. I'm trying to type it in exactly how our exactly. Is. That is the biggest challenge. Uh -huh. I've heard more of that uh, this year than I probably did last year. I don't know why, but um, and again, it's just that clarification of making sure those those pieces of data match. And actually and checking the box too, because a oh, lot yeah. of times they'll to forget to check the box. To transfer like, now? No, I did it, uh -huh. and I'm like, no, you didn't do it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Down, you mean here? Yeah, yeah. They hit go back to FAFSA, but then they they never click that box, I and see. they think they've done it, but they right. haven't. They didn't do it. I got you. That makes sense. So. One of the other things I noticed for fifty sixty two is the link. The link hour is the button. Is it is prevalent? Is it close in the old press? I didn't notice that this year. Okay. Maybe it's just that. It, um, so down here at the bottom? <coughs> yeah, it's me. I'm trying to, I'm, my eyes are crazy. Yeah, after you Instead of having the big blue box, sometimes uh, it's just the blue words. And you click on the box and then hit the box. Uh, I didn't have to see anybody else. Yeah. Unless it's <laughs> your, well, is this going to sound soothing because I say it's your internet browser? Sometimes boxes don't populate things. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That could be it. Uh, I had a hard time yesterday. Um, I, I just, and this has nothing to do with the session that we're talking about, um, somewhat though by just what I said. I had a hard time with Internet Explorer yesterday. Were y'all? Anybody? In, in general, a lot of websites aren't compatible with it anymore. Mm -hmm. I just don't know what's going on there. And I uh, did, did just, you know, they can say a couple words and get out. And, you know, <laughs> and then, you know, I, I curse CFI because it's their laptop, their program, their you know, But, you know, as many times they say, yeah, well, why don't you use Firefox or why don't you use something else? And I'm like, well, I just have a habit of clicking on that Internet Explorer box. Okay. So, the, so that may be it. Just like I said, the compatibility is changing. And I, I'm assuming you're still on the format because you have a child in the Yeah. I Like I said, it's been, <laughs> it's been five years. 
years since I first done a FAFSA, and that was paper, that you have to select at least one institution in what time was duh. So who's here from Duke? I picked me up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a huge Duke basketball fan. Uh, a lot of family members have worked at Duke, so I said, you know what, I'm gonna pick Duke. They're not gonna be knocking on my door. Where's your graduate school application? <laughs> so, <laughs> but if I had to pick my alma mater, I know they've been coming after me, you know, because that's their recruiting tool. And you, we've got your ITER on file, who's gonna submit your application? That's when I used to work there, we used to do that. So I was like, okay, I can do that. So I had to pick Duke. <laughs> so yeah, you can do it. You got your taxes done? You know what? I'm gonna be honest with you. If you don't, you don't have to. It's just gonna make it easier for the DRT. No, you're gonna be the key that works. I will tell you something. Somebody has decided to file um, electronically for my husband and I, and we got notified by the IRS. Wow, that's on our social security number. So oh my I will be doing this. And I know what they're thinking, and I know why they're calling. 
Well, we, we're not going to qualify for financial aid. Susie's not, and of course, you, you like them, they say we. Susie's not going to qualify for financial aid. We're not going to qualify for financial aid. So how do you know that? <coughs> well, that confirmation letter we got says so Susie's not getting any program. So we just can't afford to in the institution. So we're going to have to look at a public institution. We're going to have to consider community college. Like, well, no, 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 no. You just press submit. This is estimate. Did you read it clearly? This is estimated data. And help reading and student loan is not all financial aid. There's so much other dollars that are out there that exist as financial aid, scholarships, institutional aid. Give it a chance. Don't back out yet on us. Let us walk through this process. And obviously at smaller private schools these days, we know that we're a little bit more competitive with our dollars because we know that our kids are looking at other smaller private schools so we can be competitive with our funding, institutionally based funding. So, when I said that a couple times this year, I had some parents to say, well, we came close to doing that. We came close to telling our institution that we're just not going to be able to attend because we just assumed because my child didn't get Pell Grant that they're not going to receive much of anything else in the form of financial assistance that comes to the college. So, do you hear that? Do you see that a lot? And some of you So any questions regarding the FAFSA up to this process? We've had some good conversation. We'll wrap up in about five more minutes. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Uh, a, a parent that uh, follows the FAFSA, and they have a child that's in early college that's taking college classes. So when she goes to answer the question as far as the number of college, will she still count that? No. no. She has received a high school diploma. Yes. Okay. And she's yes. received that diploma, well, and of course, as a graduating senior, you know, she's still working on those college classes as an early college requirement, um, but she's not considered a college student. She's in that program for the purpose of receiving her high school diploma, but yet she's got the advantage of those college classes. You're right. Okay. Any other questions about FAPS or, or any other challenges or that you've had up to this point? Sure. I'm sorry, at the beginning, um, so I work with other students um, for grad school. I assume that the lady mentioned that at the beginning, is there an option for a family for myself or my parents? Like, how do you get not, not enter that parental system? When you answer yes to the base of age or already completed okay. a degree, okay. Um, okay. you're going to answer that yes question, which will not, you'll not be asked about your day at that point. That's right. So those dependency questions will determine uh, the filing process uh, at a later point regarding the parent. Did you have a question? Mm -hmm. So the CSS profile, um, financial aid, CSS slash financial aid program, are you familiar with this? For some of you at those institutions, you may be or you may have heard it. Um, in our state, there are only seven colleges that require the CSS profile to be completed in addition to the FAFSA. Um, Davidson, Duke, Elon, High Point, UNC Chapel Wake Forest, and Wake Forest Med School. Was that seven that I'm missing? No, that was seven. Yeah, that was it. Um, and I'll say High Point, yeah. So this is administered by College Board same place our kids are going to sign up for uh, their SATs or their AP tests that they're taking from schools. Um, most of the schools that are requiring are independent, but as I've shared with you, Chapel Hill is on the list for our North Carolina schools. Uh, the students register online or we go through the telephone number, toll-free telephone number on the column board. Uh, the completion is either online or paper. I know of everybody that I, I've heard filling it out, going online to do it. It's much simpler. Processing is much easier. Um, in the senior year, just like our students filing FAFSAs that are in high school still, uh, FAFSA filers can't complete the FAFSA until after January the 1st. CSS profile completer, completers are uh, beginning to complete it as early as October 1st. And they are going to be required to answer lots of financial aid questions that FAFSA is not going to even ask. And the whole point of this is to determine institutional methodology, determine what types of institutional grant dollars are going to be awarded 
or other funding that may be awarded. Just consider the institutions that I just named in our state. Um, I'm sure they have large endowment funds and other programs that they're going to be able to have this capability uh, to award aid, so they need to determine the institutional methodology uh, to determine what other tax aid I can get. So that's the big thing. We know that the FAFSA is determining the federal methodology. And um, more professional judgments can be determined by having this data. Um, that's pretty helpful for a lot of students. Cost, free, FAFSA we know, $25 from the CSS profile to complete it and for at least one report to be submitted, uh, one college to be selected. Any additional college is $16. There is an opportunity though for students to have uh, that $25 waived based on their data they're putting on the, the form. If at the end of the processing, it will let the student know if that form, that $20 can be waived. Any questions about the CSS profile? Um, if you're one of these institutions, maybe you just need to know how your students can click it. Um, it does also state as early as October 1st, but no later than two weeks before the earliest priority filing date specified by the institution. That's when the institution hopes that that student will have filed. Um, they're ready to award their aid. You're ready to award your aid. So you want the student to have completed it to see what you can get. Yes, ma'am. Would that be used for graduate and professional students as well, or is that exclusively under um, For any of these institutions that have the graduate, I'm assuming it's graduate as well. Anybody know anything differently on that? Yes, ma'am. Is the program used for institutional methodology? Yes. That's probably not what I script for grad school. For the Wake Forest, because Wake Forest um, Medical School is the only thing <coughs> I saw as far as the graduate or doctorate level program that's listed there. Yes, sir. So is the on the road using this program as well? Okay. Well, and I, that's true, because I would say no reason for graduate level um, purposes unless. Yeah, to award to the graduate. Anybody else? Um, if you're at any of those institutions in our state? Is in the high school level, I see a lot of times students and families know nothing about this that are looking at those institutions. And of course, the list is broad as far as if they're going out of state. I just tell the kid, go to the College Board's website and search for CSS profile if you don't see the link on the homepage. Find your institution to determine if you need to complete it. But a lot of families, when we're in the high schools, they don't know about this. Um, those schools that have excellent school counselors and they're sharing a lot of information with their students or have a lot of one-on-one -on -one contact with their students, there are advising them to complete this. But a lot of schools I see, at least in my region, um, they're not aware of it. So. Institutional applications. How many of you have your own institutional apps? So, you know, you're, you're seeking more data than what the FAFSA can provide or the CSS can provide. Um, what about you two? What school are you? Peace and people. We're seeing deals. Community college. We just have, we have our own um, for, you know, scholarship applications, but it doesn't do any other information. Yeah, I was going to say that I thought more and more institutions are getting away with that. Um, we used to have one, but I've been gone from that school for eight years now, so no, they don't have any. Where's Tom Adrian? He's my Martin buddy. So I swear he's to work in my school. So we bridge it, eh? All right, so any miscellaneous data? Um, I think we've kind of covered some of this. We'll wrap up things real quickly. Um, who are considered parents on the FAFSA? Any questions about this? Have y'all experienced any challenges? I'm sure you have. Um, but if you don't have any specifics, we're not going to walk through each of these details. Um, not considered, we've already touched upon this, foster parents, legal guardians. Any of these people who have not 